Hello guys, namaste. Welcome back to Android Tricks. Google recently had their Google I/O event where they showcased the best software development they have been working on, along with the gist of what the new Android P will look like. And in this video, I am going to show you the new hidden secret features of Android P. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Starting off with the major update of Android P, that would be the gesture settings and the revamped recent apps menu. The apps now list in the horizontal format rather than the vertical to show the real-time preview of the apps, which is pretty useful. You can either swipe to navigate between these applications or you can directly use this button as the slider. If you're someone who is always worried about your phone being unlocked by your fingerprint when you're asleep, this new feature on the Android P would be a deal breaker for you. Lockdown feature can be enabled from settings, security and location, lock screen preference. Once you toggle this on, you will see the new option in the power menu of the lockdown, which basically means that once it is enabled, the phone will only unlock when you enter your PIN, pattern or passcode, whichever you have been using. One thing I mentioned in my watch new video was the battery settings does not show individual battery consumption of the apps anymore along with the graph but you can view them in the developer options which if you already don't know can be enabled by tapping the build number 7 times. In the developer option you will see the C Android 8.2 battery settings option just click on it and it will give you the details you need. While we are in the developer option, I'll show you another secret feature for which you need to go down into the networking section and select maximum connected Bluetooth audio device. What this basically does is that it allows you to have up to 5 Bluetooth devices connected simultaneously. You obviously cannot play music on all the devices at the one time but you can switch instantly from this menu. One of the best feature which I noticed recently was the auto rotate feature not the traditional auto rotate feature which you have to turn on but the temporary feature which shows this rotation icon when you rotate the device this is very helpful when you come across a video on facebook or google chrome it will rotate the screen for that particular instance and then when you switch back to portrait it will give you an option to do the same other features which were already announced but hard to find in the device as of now are the Google Dashboard application which allows you to see which application you are using more frequently and spending more time on it. Along with that you can also set timers for applications as in how long do you want to use that application in a particular day. Once you reach that limit, the app turns grey and they also show you a reminder that your time in this application is over which is another awesome feature to stop using apps and wasting more time on certain applications. One thing I noticed only after using Android P for a long time is that it automatically detects the app notifications which you often close directly from the notification bar. And once it detects it, it gives you the option to disable the app from sending notifications on your device. Again a useful feature which basically understands your usage and gives you recommendations according to that. Android P has literally revamped all the animations on Android for good. I really loved the new animations and while I was at the developer option, I stumbled across this quick setting developer tiles option which allows you to add various quick tiles to your quick settings page. One of the best is window animation scale which basically slows down all the animation on your phone. As you can see, I have been doing it on my screen. Android P has revamped a lot of things in the settings app which you may or you may not like. However, I found an option to go back to Android 8.0 style hidden in the developer option inside the feature flag option. Remember I told you that the battery settings has changed completely? Well, you can go old school by enabling this toggle. Even about phone menu has changed and as you can see it over here, just toggle this on and you are back to the previous version. I am sure that these are only here for the developer preview and will be gone when the Android P is finally released. But you can cherish this while it lasts as the Android P changes are here to stay. There's also a wind down mode which turns your phone into grayscale, a feature which I have been missing out on Android for years now. iPhone already had that feature but this is just a better way to implement that feature which can be enabled via the voice command. So yeah, that's pretty much for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more awesome videos like this. See you guys in the next one.